In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Reconnect24 on your Wii. Reconnect24 allows you to use discontinued services from Wii Connect24, which include news, forecast, everybody votes, Nintendo, etc. I'm also going to show you how to connect Wii Speak by using the WiiWare patcher, just in case it doesn't work after setting up Reconnect24. So that link will also be in the description. So stay tuned for the end of the video, where I'll show you how to do that. What you need for this, you need an SD card or USB drive formatted as FAT32. You need a Wii with an internet connection and a computer. So let's get started. Go to the first link in the description and scroll down until you see the download. Click on the second one and it should download. This is the patcher. This is what we're gonna use to set up our files. So once it's downloaded, click on it and it should open. Now, my firewall uh, thinks it's a bad program, but it is safe, so I'm gonna run it anyway. You can too. So once you're here, just type in one and press enter and it should start. You don't need to have your SD card or USB drive plugged in for this to work. It can just go into a folder on your computer, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm doing it for the Wii, so I'm gonna click one, press enter. And this one, you're also gonna type in one, press enter, and it should start. Now here, just click one again to choose the express, press enter. Choose your region. I'm North America, so I'm gonna type in two, press enter. I'm also gonna install the Wii Speak channel. So I'm gonna press two, press enter, and that's checked off. You can do other channels as well. I believe today and tomorrow channel is a European one. So if you're North American, there's no point in getting it on your Wii. But once you pick the ones you want, just click five and enter. Now here, if you have your SD card plugged into your computer, you can type one and press enter, but if not, just press two. I'm gonna be pressing two because I don't have it plugged in. So two, enter. And here we wanna start patching, so press one and enter, and it should do its thing. And it shouldn't take too long. We're at 20%, it should take about a minute or so. And there we go, it's all done. So you can either return to the main menu or you can close the patcher, which I'm gonna do. Two, press enter. And now if you go to your downloads, if you didn't have your SD card plugged in, that's where they'll show up. And as you can see, there's apps and WAD. These are the two we want. In apps, we should have mail patcher with these three files. So we should have Wiimod Lite with these files. And then if you go and if you go into your WAD folder, you should have all of these. These are the WADs that we're going to install. Now's the time to open your USB drive. Make sure it's formatted as FAT32 and drag the apps and WAD files onto it. And once they're on there, we are ready to go over to the Wii. So eject your USB drive and I'll meet you over there. And once you're on the Wii, Click on the homebrew channel and load it up. Now we're going to go to Wii Mod Lite. This is how we're going to install the wads. Let us do its thing. Once you're in Wii Mod Lite, use the D pad and go down to Wad Manager. Now, another thing is if you're using a Wii Motion Plus remote, this may not work you might have to get an original Wii remote. Click A on WAD Manager, and then you're gonna select the source device. I'm using a USB mass, stor mass storage device, so I'm gonna select that, but if you're using SD slot, go ahead and click that. But I'll click A on USB, and these are all the WADs. It's a lot easier, you can just click one, and you'll install all the WADs in the folder, or you can go individually, click A, and then A again. But I'm just gonna click one, and it should install all the files. So click A again, and we'll let it do its thing. Now, the first time I tried doing this, all of the WADs did not work, but all I did was take the USB drive out, restart my Wii, put it back in, and now it is working. So if it doesn't work the first time, try it again. And it's done. Click A, <laughs> and now, just click the home button and it'll return to the homebrew launcher or the homebrew channel rather. Click exit to system menu and we'll see if they are there. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the only one I was actually missing was We Speak, but as you can see, now we have We Speak channel 2.0. We'll head back into the homebrew channel. And now we're going to select the mail patch here. So click A and load it up. And this shouldn't take too long at all. And just click the home button when it's done. So since the mail patcher is done, now you can receive mail with reconnect 24. And the next step, we're going to change the DNS settings. So go into we settings, go over a page, go to internet, click on connection settings, click on the one you're using, go to change settings, scroll over to where it says auto obtain DNS, click no. Click on advanced settings. And this is actually the old DNS setting for reconnect 24. There was an update on August 21st, 2022 that changes the primary DNS setting and the old one, this one on the screen here, this one will stop working on June 1st, 2023. But using the old one, it restricts your usage of reconnect. So it just makes more sense to have the updated one. So type in 167. Dot eight six dot one o eight dot one two six. Press OK. And the secondary DNS just just type in one dot one dot one dot one. So it should look like this. Click confirm, save, and it'll initiate a connection test. And when it's successful, just click no. We don't we don't want to update it. You should never update a homebrewed Wii. So now go back all the way to where it says Wii Connect 24. Click on it. And we're just going to make sure, click on Wii Connect 24 again. We're just going to make sure that it's enabled. So make sure it says on. Click confirm. And head back to internet settings. We're going to click on user agreements. When it asks you to use Wii Shop Channel and Wii Connect 24, click Yes. And click Next. And the Reconnect 24 thing should pop up. The agreement, nice. So you can read through this if you want, but if, if not, just click I Accept. It'll send us back to the Wii menu. And after this, you should be totally set up with Reconnect 24. So let's check out the news channel. And as you can see, we're seeing some news. I don't like watching the news, but this is pretty cool. We're on the Wii, checking out news. <laughs> I'm also going to show you how to connect Wii Speak by using the WiiWare patcher, just in case it doesn't work after setting up Reconnect24. So if you want to connect WeSpeak to WimFi, go to the link in the description that says WeSpeak, click on WiiWarePatcher.bat, it should download, and Windows doesn't like this file, but I'm just going to press keep and open it up. Windows doesn't like it, but it is safe, click run anyway, and we're in the patcher now. So just click enter. And click 2 for patching we speak click 1 if you're in North America and press enter and it should begin and then just press enter to exit so now open up your USB drive and I'm just gonna delete the wads that we used already open up your downloads and it should be in WimFi Wads, We Speak channel right there. So we're gonna drag that in, and we're putting it in the same Wad folder that we had our other Wads in. As you can see, the other Wad for We Speak channel does not have WimFi in it. This one has WimFi in it. So now we're set. We can eject our USB drive and go to the Wii. So we're gonna do the same thing. So go into the Homebrew channel. We just need to install the Wad. 
And this is only if the reconnect 24 didn't work. Let's go into Wii Mod Lite. Go into WAD Manager. Select your storage device. And I'm just going to install this one. And it's done. So just click the home button and you'll go back to the homebrew launcher. Let's go back to the system menu and we can check it out. But unfortunately, I don't have a Wii microphone, so I'm not really able to test this out. So if somebody can test it out for me, if they could let me know in the comments and hopefully it works. But anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and subscribe to keep an eye out on more Wii tutorial videos. Take care.